It's summertime, and it's gonna be hot as shit. Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Let's Play The Sims 4, Soap Opera Legacy Challenge, episode 39. So these are the cute twins that we adopted last episode, Megan and Caitlin. They don't rhyme, but I mean, we got them from the adoption agency with their names, and I'm not gonna change their names. Megan, Caitlin, beautiful. So today I decided, or since Devin Super had a baby, er, aged up her baby last episode too, we should have a toddler play date at a park. Bruna. So I feel like we should go do that today. It'll be so much fun. The toddlers are going to have so much fun with their cousin, Carrie. This family only has girls, I've noticed so far. Oh, you want to get out of the high chair? Oh, is he on it? Nope. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. <laughs> and Diamond Yaga also needs needy. to secure, votes, uh? secure a vote, which she can do at the park. Oh. So we'll be killing two birds with Bruna one stone. Peter, she's always working towards that promotion. <laughs> Wangle fridge dupes. Max is like oh, no. the trophy husband. He's so cute. And he takes such good care of the kids. Like he's he's giving her a bath. Come on, not like perfect husband material. What are you doing in the toilet? You know by that face. She did something bad. Look now she's running away. Hey, let's go. Let's go to the park. Look at how cute they are. They look like a little clique. They look like Regina, George, Karen, and Gretchen Wieners from Mean Girls. They're so adorable. They're gonna go play in the park. Can they go play in the park? I wonder. Oh. What's this? They can only what's this at the park? Aw, that makes me feel sad. It's okay. Play with your cousin. Oh, hello, stranger. Ah. <laughs> Floopy. What do you say? This is so cute. I love that the girls are just like having fun. Wait, Carrie, come back. Toddlers can't play with other toddlers? Like, I can't ask her to play with her sister? Yeah, but what about her cousin? Carrie. I want them to play with Carrie. Or is Carrie, like, going places? Carrie's like, nope, I'm good, bye. Let's see. We need to get a... We need to secure a vote. What about you, strange lady? Carrie over here is going places. Friendly, political career. Uh, Talk about please. the sunny weather. Let's just can if bazoo, live up strike up a me. conversation. Yibs. Oh, yo, yo. Secure a vote. Molo beady plumber. She's like, we're gonna shoot for the stars. She's like, no, I don't believe you. Mm. Marley is unconvinced that Diamond will make a good community leader. That's okay, I don't need you. We have all these randos. There's so many people here. Polite introduction. She looks so cute. I'm so happy I gave her a makeover. I love giving my Sims makeovers. Cause I just get, I get so tired of their outfits so quickly. So she's like, hello. Oh, I'm your Lampena. community leader. Brimbo Chews. Tribna. Ah. <laughs> yes, secure to vote. Zrick. Thank you so much for your. Time. Where are my girls going? They're just like gonna play in the street. Let's hug. Let's hug your your niece. Technically, get to know. Brighten day. Where are my girls? Oh, you're hungry. Do you need a snack? Can I just pull a snack out of my ass and give it to you? Toddler care. Ooh, there. Are, there's nothing I can do. Other than send you to daycare. How hungry are you? Ugh. And we fed you right before you left the house. How's your sister? She's doing a lot better than you, Caitlin. What's going on? Caitlin, why do you gotta be so high maintenance? She's just get, catching up with her sister. She's like, how's Robert? How's life? How's the family? Good. Now that the baby's grown up to a toddler, I feel like I need to renovate. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, she was crying a second ago, now she's happy. I'm, I'm confused. Are you gonna touch my child, that. sir? Please don't touch my baby. Barb Benib. Weirdo. <laughs> so, so. Sir, can you not touch my baby? This is really strange. Where did Devin go? Devin left? Um, excuse me, please don't pick up my kid. Oh, bless him. No. Um, so this girl picked up my kid. Diamond's gonna come up to her and she's gonna be like, excuse me, what's going on? So she's gonna come over and she's like, sorry, but can you please not talk, touch my daughter? Please do not pick her up. She's not your daughter. That's my daughter. You didn't know? I don't understand. She's like, what do you mean that those are your daughters? I adopted them. They are mine. I am their caretaker. I feed them and I bathe them, but I want them back. The state says I'm not a good mother, but I know I'm a good mother. That's very nice, but I'm currently in possession of them, so... I'm going to keep them. Please do not contact my daughters again. Please do not touch them. You're a city official, so... I know where you live. And if I want, I'll have my daughters back whenever I want. And there's nothing you can do about it. I will get them whenever I want. And then she walked away. Or actually, she ran away. She just threatened Devin... Or, I'm sorry, Diamond, and she walked away. And Diamond's trying to put on a brave face right now, but she's very shook. She doesn't know what to do in this situation. She was just threatened. She was basically told that her daughters are going to be kidnapped. So she loves her daughters, and she doesn't want them kidnapped. So she really, truly doesn't know what to do. Let's go home. Okay, so we're home, and the girls are hungry and tired. Did she just make her way to bed? And she's putting herself in bed? This is one strong, independent little girl, I, I'm telling you. You should put your daughter to sleep. She wants to sleep. Caitlin. Caitlin's just having a little, like, panic attack outside. She just put her daughter to bed. She's like, we had lots of fun at the park. But she's still very distraught over what happened. So she's going to try to invest in some work. And by work, I mean practicing her charisma. Max, you're working out. Good job. Just getting your daily workout in. Good, good. Aw, cute. Uh, so so after working for a little bit, Diamond still couldn't, like, get the whole situation out of her head. So she decided she was going to talk to her husband. She was like, I have to tell you, this woman came up to me at the park. And she was very rude and disrespectful. She told me that she was Caitlyn and Megan's mom. Like, birth mother. That's really strange that she would say that. There's nothing she can do, though, because we have all legal rights over her. Legally, there's nothing she can do. And she goes, yeah, I know that. But she... It feels to me that she threatened me and told me she was going to take the girls away. He's like, don't worry about it, honey. You should get a good night's sleep. It'll all be over in the morning. <laughs> oh, hello. He's not sleeping under the covers. Okay, stop. Sleep. Sleep like a normal human, Max. Whimsical. Complete 100 whims across all sims. Cute. It's summertime. I mean, it's going to be hot as shit. At least where I'm from. <laughs> Caitlin's very hungry. Make sure to feed her before she gets taken away. Just like her first mom had her taken away. <laughs> Anyways, let's go check on another family. Okay, so we stopped by Devin's house. And like Devin mentioned earlier, she wants to do some renovating to the house because it's quite small. And fun fact, last episode for Love Day, they woohooed and she's expecting... So they're gonna have another baby coming along and they're gonna need more space. So we're just gonna do some minor adjustments because we only have $22,000 available to us. I wanna bring the sound a little bit. I want to have like a literal laundry room. But for right now, I'm gonna keep it here. 
washer and dryer. I thought I could stack these on top of, on top of each other. Is that not a thing? There we go. And I did want to start branching upstairs if possible. The tree is getting in my way. I stretched out a lot of the property, so we have a lot more room than before. It's not as cluttered. Mr. Teddy Bear? Cool. I'm gonna keep this nursery downstairs just to be safe. This room, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But I guess I can also it in. I want to extend this a little bit more. Oh wow, this is a huge, huge mess looking thing. It's fine though. I want to give Devin a walk-in closet. I know I'm very particular about giving everybody a walk-in closet, but I feel like Devin went from nothing, or went, went from, she came from nothing basically, because she lived in like a standard everyday house, to having money, and then her dad took all that away from her because she was in love. So I want to give her back, I give back her, at least her walk-in closet. Okay, roofing is always such a huge struggle for me, because I'm like, will it look good? Will it not? This is turning into like a dollhouse looking thing. Do you guys agree? This looks like, it's starting to look like a dollhouse. Didn't want to bring it back another one, but I will, I guess. to play with or work in I should say okay so I'm just moving everything back up to the top or back up to the top upstairs uh, should I have a little study or is that too much not right now no study right now Oh, yeah, I forgot I, I'm redoing all the windows, too. Oh my gosh, why did I do this to myself? Why am I stupid? If, since that's four, can I just put one in the middle and then do that? Or is that ugly? I think that's fine. <laughs> Creative choices. Can I put this here? And would it stand out too much? I feel like it's fine. I think it's like so fine, it's good. Even though that's like a bathroom, it, that's a real big window that looks real good in the front, so they have to deal with it now. And that's a real long bathroom, but whatever. It looks good and that's what matters. Oh, and I have to move this inside because it's broken. I'm pretty sure the weather destroys your DJ equipment if you leave it outside. So maybe we'll just put this here and this will be like his little DJ room study. No bathrooms. There's no light in the bathroom. You see. What's the color? It's this ugly color. Gross. I want something fun. But it's also like 
a suburban house, so... Yeah. I'm like, I want something fun, but it can't be too fun. Because the homeowners association will kick me out. Real life struggle right there. The homeowners association coming after you. Literally just for existing. I never use this. Maybe I'll use it right now. Yeah. This here. And then I want. I'm trying something. It's different. It's different. Well, what about this? Oh, my camera just like jumped and skipped a couple frames. I like this. I like this like this, except maybe. Yeah, that looks so much better. I like it. And I don't. This is too low. What if we make this one higher? Yeah? Yeah. I'm liking it. This is a choice. This is a choice I can't get behind. I was like, let's make it ethnic, but ugh, I can't. I. I just don't like it. This is like tile that I don't think I'll ever use because I don't like it. I'm sorry if you hate me, but I just don't like it. I'm trying to use it. Like, I really tried really hard to use it, but I just can't get behind it. This needs to change now. Go back. Boom, and some nice curtains. And this bathroom is complete, and it looks so nice and child-friendly, so everyone can use it. I'm never happy. Happy. Can I do this with this? Mm. Do I like this room with this color? No. Ooh, I low-key like this. I actually really low-key like this. But I don't like this. So I need to find curtains that I like that'll go over that. Can I do that? Will that look okay? Oop. Let's pimp out this little gr this little girl's room. I want a very pretty Ooh, froggy. Nah. <laughs> no. I want a very pretty, yeah, flower turtle, because why not? And you know what? Let's match the colors. So, like, maybe flower turtle wants to, like, live on the flowers. Flower turtle. Cute. Let's make this. I want to make it purple. It's like, I get, why, can't, why don't we have, like, somewhat gender neutral colors? Maybe I'm being too picky. That's probably it. I'm just, like, being way too picky. Okay, well, I think this is where I'm gonna leave off with building and the video. So let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of what's going on. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. Because I don't know where I'm gonna go with the storyline. I actually just came up with it on the spot like today's threat so let me know what you think of the video if you have any ideas please let me know do you want to create any sims or any lots for this let's play feel free to do so just tag it in the gallery with the hashtag dilly sims like subscribe comment do all those fun youtube things and i will catch all of you guys next time bye everybody